To install the PM Darima package in Python, you can use a command. The PM Darima library is built on NumPy and Pandas and provides an easy way to utilize the Arima model for time series analysis in Python. Installing the PM Darima package enables you to access its functionalities within your Python environment. Various common libraries used in Python for data analysis, visualization, and machine learning tasks are imported in the following snippet. 1. Math. Provides mathematical functions like seal, floor, sqrt, etc. 2. Time. Helps in working with time-related functions such as calculating the current time or waiting for a specific time period. 3. Pandas. Offers data structures and data analysis tools to work with structured data efficiently. 4. NumPy. Provides support for large multidimensional arrays and matrices, along with high-level mathematical functions to operate on these arrays. 5. Matplotlib. PyPlot. A plotting library used to create visualizations like charts, plots, histograms, etc. 6. DateTime. Time Delta. Helps in manipulating dates and times more conveniently. 7. StatsModels.Appy. Provides classes and functions for the estimation of many statistical models. 8. Stats models. Graphics. TSA plots. Used for plotting time series plots like autocorrelation plots, ACF, and partial autocorrelation plots, PACF. 9. Train underscore test underscore split. From scikit-learn library. Used for splitting data into training and testing sets. 10. Mean underscore squared underscore error. Mean underscore absolute underscore error. Evaluation metrics to measure the performance of regression models. 11. PM Darima. Arima. Auto underscore Arima. Library for automatically selecting the best Arima model for a given time series data. 12. Warnings. Allows you to handle warnings in Python. 13. Percent matplotlib inline. Magic command in Jupyter Notebook to display matplotlib plots inline. Importing these libraries makes their functionalities available for use in subsequent code. These libraries provide tools for data manipulation, visualization, statistical analysis, and machine learning tasks in Python. This script reads Bitcoin price data from a CSV file and stores it in a pandas data frame named df. It then shows the initial rows of the data frame, changes the column name, date time, to, date, and sets, date, as the data frame's index. After converting the date index to a datetime format, it creates a line graph showing the Bitcoin close prices with a specified figure size. This script is useful for loading and visualizing time series data, particularly Bitcoin price data. By using the date as the index, it simplifies time-based tasks like data resampling, time series plotting, or time-based analysis. The final plot visually demonstrates the trend and fluctuations in Bitcoin prices over time. The following tasks are performed by this code snippet. 1. Remove specific columns, open, high, low, volume, date, from the data frame df. 2. Computes the natural logarithm of all remaining columns in the data frame using np.log, and saves the outcome in a new data frame called df underscore log. 3. Illustrates the data in the df underscore log data frame as a line plot using matplotlib's plt, plot, function. 4. Shows the first few rows of the original df data frame with df, head. This code manipulates the data by dropping unnecessary columns, transforming the rest of the data through a logarithmic process, and visualizing the transformed data to analyze potential patterns or relationships in the dataset. The logarithmic transformation is commonly utilized in various data analysis scenarios like handling skewed data distributions or converting raw data into a more understandable scale. The visualization part is crucial for obtaining insights and comprehending the existing patterns or trends in the data. This text discusses the use of pandas for data manipulation. 1. 
The resample function is applied to the data frame df to resample the data at a daily frequency, d, and calculate the mean value for each date. This means that if the original data frame had data for every hour or minute, this operation aggregates the data for each day by calculating the mean. 2. It then creates a Boolean mask to filter the resampled data frame, ddf, based on a specific date range, selecting only the data points between January 1, 2020, and January 1, 2021. The main purpose of this process is to downsample the data to daily frequency and filter it for a particular time period. This can be useful for tasks like summarizing data, reducing noise, or focusing analysis on a specific time range. This snippet splits a data frame into training and validation sets for machine learning model training and evaluation. It utilizes the train underscore test underscore split function to divide the data frame DDF into DF underscore train and DF underscore valid, with 80% of data assigned to training and 20% to validation. A line plot is then generated using PLT. Plot to visualize the training and validation data. Training data is represented in blue, and validation data in green. This visualization aids in comprehending data distribution, identifying patterns, and detecting variations. This process is crucial in machine learning model development as it ensures effective training and evaluation. It allows testing the model's performance on unseen data to prevent overfitting. Visualizing the split data helps in understanding data distribution and anticipating challenges during training and evaluation. This process calculates the daily log returns of a financial dataset stored in df underscore train by finding the difference between the logarithm of each day's value and the next day's value. The steps involved are 1. Calculate the natural logarithm of each value in the df underscore train data frame. 2. Calculate the natural logarithm of each value in the df underscore train data frame shifted by one position to get the next day's values. 3. Find the difference between the two logarithmic values to determine the daily returns. 4. Remove any rows with missing values, NAN, resulting from the shift operation. 5. Plot the daily returns stored in dfret underscore train with a figure size of 10 by 5 using the plot method. Logarithmic returns are commonly used in financial analysis due to their beneficial statistical properties such as being additive for successive returns and providing better symmetry and linear properties compared to simple returns. Analyzing and plotting the returns can offer insights into the behavior and volatility of the dataset, aiding in financial analysis and decision-making. The Dickey-Fuller test is a statistical test used to test the stationarity of a time series. This code conducts the Dickey-Fuller test on the time series data in the dfret underscore train, close, variable and provides the results in a structured format. Here's how the code works. 1. It displays a heading, results of Dickey-Fuller test. 2. The Dickey-Fuller test is applied to the close column of the dfret underscore tron data frame using the sm.saw add fuller, function. 3. The test results are saved in the, df test, variable. 4. A pandas series named, df output, is created to store the test results with appropriate labels. 5. Critical values from the, df test, dictionary are iterated over and added to the, df output, series. 6. The, df output, series is printed showing the test statistic, p-value, critical values, and other pertinent information from the Dickey-Fuller test. The Dickey-Fuller test is valuable in determining the stationarity of a time series, particularly in fields like finance and economics. By analyzing results such as the p-value and critical values, we can assess whether the time series is stationary or displays trends or seasonality.
This script computes the rolling mean and rolling standard deviation of a time series data stored in the data frame D fret underscore train, utilizing a 12 period window. The rolling mean and rolling standard deviation are computed to smooth the data, enhancing the visibility of underlying trends. Following the calculation of the rolling mean and rolling standard deviation, the script generates a plot showing the original time series data in blue, the rolling mean in red, and the rolling standard deviation in black. This visualization aids in comprehending how the data evolves over time and in detecting significant fluctuations or patterns. The use of rolling mean and rolling standard deviation is crucial in time series analysis as it assists in identifying trends, seasonal patterns, and outliers while minimizing noise in the data. This analytical approach is widely applied in finance, economics, and other fields where data points are gathered at regular intervals and display some degree of autocorrelation. The plot underscore ACF and plot underscore PACF functions from the StatsModels library are used in this analysis to visualize the autocorrelation function, ACF, and partial autocorrelation function, PACF, of the difference in, close, values from the data frame, D fret underscore tron. ACF indicates the correlation between a time series and a lagged version of itself, while PACF reveals the partial correlation after accounting for intermediate lag correlations. Plotting these functions with 40 lags allows us to examine the correlation patterns in the time series data and determine suitable lag values for autoregressive and moving average components in time series modeling. Understanding autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation is crucial for establishing the AR and MA terms order in time series models such as ARIMA or SARIMA. This knowledge contributes to the development of more precise and efficient forecasting models for time series data. This text describes a method used in time series analysis to determine the best lag order for an autoregressive integrated moving average, ARIMA, model by utilizing the Akaika information criterion, AIC. AIC balances model goodness of fit against complexity. The function ARMA underscore order underscore select underscore IC is used by providing a time series dataset, DFRET underscore train, close, and specifying the information criterion. IC equals AIC. It then fits various ARIMA models with different lag orders to calculate AIC values. The aim is to find the lag order that yields the lowest AIC value, indicating the most suitable model for forecasting. By automating the process of lag order selection, this method simplifies the task for analysts, eliminating the need to manually test numerous lag order combinations. This text describes fitting an autoregressive moving average, ARMA, model to a time series dataset using the StatsModels library in Python. ARMA models combine autoregressive, AR, and moving average, MA, terms to represent time series data. The process outlined includes 1. Creating an ARMA model object with an order of 1. 1. Using the ARMA function from the StatsModels library. 2. Fitting the ARMA model to the training data using the FIT method with DISP equals minus 1 to suppress output during fitting. 3. Plotting the original time series data, D fret underscore train, and the ARMA model's predicted values, where original data is in blue and predicted values in red. This approach is valuable for analyzing time series data to model and forecast future values based on historical trends. ARMA models are effective in capturing trends and seasonal patterns in data, aiding in making forecasts and uncovering underlying data patterns. 
Visualizing the original data alongside ARMA model predictions provides insights into model performance and its ability to capture data patterns. The ARIMA, Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average, model from the StatsModels library is utilized in this analysis to examine and predict a time series data of stock prices. ARIMA is a widely used statistical model for time series data that incorporates elements like autoregression, differencing, and moving averages to capture various time series patterns. The steps performed by the code are as follows. 1. Initialization of an ARIMA model with specified parameters. In this instance, the model is set to have an order of 1, 1, 1, representing an autoregressive lag of 1, first order differencing, and a moving average lag of 1. The data frequency is daily, d. 2. Training of the model on the provided data using the FIT method to calculate the ARIMA model's parameters. 3. Printing a summary of the fitted ARIMA model, which includes details such as coefficients, standard errors, statistical tests, and goodness of FIT measures. 4. Generating a plot to visually compare the actual stock prices, original data, with the predicted, fitted, values from the ARIMA model. This plot aids in assessing how well the model captures the patterns present in the training data. Utilizing ARIMA models in time series analysis is crucial for uncovering data patterns and trends, making predictions based on historical data, and evaluating the model's performance using various metrics. In this instance, the code assists in forecasting stock prices based on historical data, supporting decision-making in trading and investment strategies. This process involves creating a simple visualization to compare original values with estimated values. Here is an overview of the steps. 1. Create a data frame named df underscore estimated using fitted values from a model result with a column, close. 2. Create another data frame named df underscore origin by combining the close column from df underscore estimated and the close column from df underscore train data frame. 3. Drop rows with missing values in the df underscore origin data frame. 4. Plot the close values from df underscore train data frame in red and the combined close values from df underscore origin data frame in green. This visual comparison helps in assessing how well the model estimates values compared to the original data. It is a common practice to display actual versus predicted values to evaluate if the model accurately captures trends and patterns in the data. Matplotlib is used in the code snippet to create this visualization. This text explains a process of making time series forecasting and visualizing the predictions along with the forecasted confidence interval. 1. The result. Forecast. Len. DF underscore valid. Alpha equals 0.05. Part predicts future values based on the length of the DF underscore valid data frame with a 95% confidence level, specified by alpha equals 0.05. 2. The forecasted values are then split into three series. FC underscore series. Contains the forecasted values indexed by DF underscore valid. Index. Lower underscore series. Contains the lower bound of the 95% confidence interval indexed by DF underscore valid. Index. Upper underscore series. 
contains the upper bound of the 95% confidence interval indexed by df underscore valid. Index. 3. The code generates a plot using matplotlib to visualize the training data. Actual stock prices, df underscore valid. Predicted stock prices, fc underscore series. And the confidence interval, lower underscore series and upper underscore series. The plot includes annotations, labels, titles, and legends for clarity. In essence, this code snippet is essential for forecasting time series data and presenting the predicted values with their confidence interval visually. This visualization aids in assessing the reliability and accuracy of the forecasting model. This text outlines a process for calculating performance metrics for a forecast. 1. Reshape the forecasted values to align with the validation data. 2. Calculate the mean squared error, MSE, mean absolute error, MEI, root mean squared error, RMSE, and mean absolute percentage error, MAPE, between the forecasted values, FC, and the validation data, DF underscore valid. 3. MSE is the average of the squares of errors, measuring the difference between actual and forecasted values. 4. May is the average of absolute errors. 5. RMSE is the square root of MSE, offering a more interpretable measure of forecast error. 6. MAPE determines the percentage difference between forecast and actual values relative to actual values. 7. These metrics assess the accuracy and performance of the forecasting model by quantifying alignment between model predictions and actual data. These metrics help evaluate forecast quality and refine the forecasting model for enhanced performance. The Auto Arima model is implemented using the Auto underscore Arima function from the PM Darima library. What the code does. 1. Fits an Arima model to the training data df underscore train using an automated approach to select optimal parameters, p, d, q, for the Arima model. 2. Performs a grid search over multiple combinations of p, d, q parameters to find the best fitting model based on the provided criteria. 3. Uses the augmented Dickey Fuller ADF test to determine the order of differencing D. 4. Specifies maximum values for P and Q in the search space. 5. Specifies that the model is non seasonal. 6. Other arguments like error underscore action equals ignore and suppress underscore warnings equals true are used for error handling and to suppress warnings during model fitting. 7. Prints a summary of the model including parameter values and statistical information after fitting the model. 8. Displays diagnostic plots of the model using model underscore auto arima. Plot underscore diagnostics, to check for any unusual patterns in the residuals. This code automates the selection process for arima model parameters by exhaustively searching through various combinations and selecting the best model based on a chosen criterion. The diagnostic plots help assess the model's performance, check assumptions validity, and identify patterns or outliers in the residuals. Overall, this code streamlines ARIMA modeling, aiding in building a more accurate and robust time series forecasting model. 